What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Uh, dog. Um, train. House. House. Investment. Dream. Bandit. Stab. Light. Light. Dark. Mother. Cookie jar. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. No opinion. I ain't given to rook. Strongly agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Nah. I'm slow to embrace. Strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Oh, hell yeah. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? He's talking about this thing Tell right me there. what you see. I see a broken chain. Okay. I see a sword. Is that an option? Um, no, there's not. <laughs> that one always makes me laugh. Uh, pfft, a ship at sea. Last one. A bearded man. I actually see two, but yeah, that'll work. Well, they look that's like all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the result. Alrighty. And here we can pick our skill, our attack skills and have a look at how our... Special points, that's what they're called. Special points affected our baseline skills. And tag skills are plus 15, right? No, they're plus more than that. I don't know if the mod did that or what. If it looks like they're plus 25, yeah? Is my math right? But if you add 20, it's 36 plus 5. Yeah, 25. So I think the mod upped it from 15 to 25. I can't be certain of that. Anyway, melee weapons is not what I want. I want guns. I love energy weapons, but god, the beginning of a game of a game is a bitch with them. Well, frankly, the energy weapons suck until you get this really good one later on, and there's like five really good ones, and then the rest of them are rubbish. So, if you want an easy game, go with guns. And I've never been able to justify the RP aspect to myself to get energy weapons. You know, um, science is nice to have. But I don't ever really use. I mean, I use it, but I use other stuff more. And, but survival skill, it's useful, but I don't use it. But in this game, actually, let me just say they're all useful, and they are all basically what they say they are. So, but speech is. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want lockpick or science, because they both, their most useful thing is to either get through a lock or get through a locked computer. You kind of need both, really. Uh, I'll pick lockpick, because that one's naturally lower. Yeah, guns, lockpick, and speech. So let's go with that. Before I turn you... I don't know what the running gun perk is. I mean, I do, I do, I don't know how I got it. You lose, I need one more thing from you. You got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. No, but that would be cool. <laughs> okay, so we get to pick two traits, and apparently we were given two traits. I'm gonna assume the mod did that. Uh, we got a lot of options here, because one of the mods added additional traits. Uh, there's two, there's four I can't pick. There's adamantium skeleton because I don't have enough endurance. There's glowing one. I don't know why I can't pick that one. I don't want it anyway. Uh, you need 65 survival for that one and you need seven endurance for solar power. What we do have, what do we got? We got wild wasteland which is really kind of cool. It basically just adds goofiness to this game. So if you want goofiness, you kind of have to take it. Like there's at least one in the, at least four Indiana Jones throwbacks I know of that you get when you have this perk and some other stuff. Uh, guns and energy weapons are slower but more accurate. Okay. Tr 
Scribal is unarmed and kneeling. Strange case is. You get 10% faster. More likely to become what? 25, 10% faster, but 25% more likely to get addicted to chems. And 10% less damage, but 5% to math. That's a weird one. Okay, you know what? There's just too many of these. This would take. This is probably gonna take 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna look through, pick mine, and then I'll tell you what mine are. All that, and I'm going to the first two in the line. I'm going with Trigger Discipline, which is 20% slower fire rate, but 20% more accurate. And Wild Wasteland. Uh, the only other one I really considered was Cautious, and I think I might actually swap Wild Wasteland for that, which is 20% larger range and negative 10 to your accuracy. So it might actually be a decent idea to swap because I have Trigger Discipline to swap Wild Wasteland. But Wild Wasteland is kind of fun. Nah, I'll tell you what, I'll go with Trigger Discipline and Wild Wasteland. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Oh, well, thank you, Doc. I don't mention it. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. But try not to get killed anymore. <laughs> Alright, now. Here is hardcore mode for anybody who hasn't played and doesn't know what it is. It increases the challenge of the game. It is separate from difficulty. Difficulty is mostly re relevant to combat, really. Uh, in this mode, stim packs heal over time instead of immediately. They can't mend broken limbs, whereas in the normal game they can. Rataway right removes radiation over time instead of immediately. Ammunition has weight, which is so annoying. Dehydration is constant concern, and believe me, it sucks ass to get stuck somewhere without water anywhere nearby. And then you can't fast travel somewhere with water because you die when you get there. It's annoying. Uh, you can turn it off or on at any time, but if you leave it on for the whole game, you get a special reward. You know what that special reward is? It's a freaking achievement. So annoying. I was, you know, hoping... I don't even know what I was hoping for. Maybe a cool pistol. Didn't even have to be powerful, just cool. And nope. You don't get nothing. But, I'm gonna keep it on. I don't really know why. I guess it just makes the video a little more interesting. Uh, background. Uh, you can be a wastelander, a trooper, a slave, an exile, follower of the apocalypse, an interdimensional castaway, really? <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, frickin' mo. Uh, oh, there's special points to it, too. Uh, you get poison and rad resistance. And survival guns and barter. And you start with a varmint rifle that never jams. Hey, that's awesome. What else we got? Uh, NCR trooper. We got guns, explosives, and medicine. And get a customized service rifle. So it's like the Wastelander, but not quite as good. 
25 to carry weight? Oh, that is awesome. And survival sneak and melee, which is okay. And Brotherhood Exile. Five to repair guns and energy. Of course, you already know how to wear power armor. And they give you a suit of rebuilt power armor, which is... That might be a little overpowered, but I didn't like the power armor in this game anyway, so, yeah. Ballers of the Apocalypse, plus five to medicine, speech, and survival, 10% reduction in limb damage, uh, medical supplies, and a cow prod. Well, that's pretty cool. Tribals, you get melee, survival, and unarmed, 10% critical against animals and insects, 12 throwing spears, and your dad's knife. An interdimensional castaway. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You can see the enemy's health stat. Your bat's accuracy is up. And plus two bonus to all skills. Start with mysterious clothes and a ray gun. Well, I wish I'd known that. I would have taken energy weapons. No, I don't want that background. That background's creepy. And then apparently you got none, which I assume doesn't do anything. Well, I like the Wastelander, because I love the Varmint Rifle. I really do. Alright, now this place... None of this is theft. And you can hold down tab... The cowboy part. I don't... Yeah, whatever. And we can take stuff that he has lying around, anything you want, because it doesn't count as theft here. And I know that there is this thing, but it's not an issue so much that you can't find um, you can't find what the hell am I talking about? Energy weapons, right. You can't find it's not that you can't find energy weapons early on. Is that they're not any good early on. Popping issues. They'll never fix that. Uh, since it's Sarsaparillas. I like how they've marked these. Food, part, awesome. Uh, empty bottles are useless. I mean, technically you can sell them, but they're not the weight, worth the weight. Weight as in W-E-I-G-H-T. Oh, right. Uh, how do you prep? What did, what did C just do? Ah! C is bullet time. And it uses your AP. Yeah, I was trying to crouch. Where's the freaking crouch button? I know there's a crouch button. I think. I have other saves. Oh! I never deleted... My, do I never deleted the documents file that housed my save games and stuff when I uninstalled the game months ago. So I still have stuff from the last time I played. I cheated a lot the last time I played. Because, you know, I did the LP and then, yeah, basically I just did one more. I did nothing but cheat. Come on, delete. Why am I making you watch this? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, uh, how the hell... Why didn't I check this before I popped back in? Um, yeah. Th there's a crouch button, right? Left control. Why is it not doing anything? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. I'm sure I need to have a certain level of sneak skill or something. Yeah, anyway, this gives you... This is the bobblehead for medicine. Yay. But my assumption is... Strictly that you probably need a certain amount of sneak to even be able to sneak. Because these mods... Now, I don't know what did what. 
but I can tell you they did a lot. <laughs>